Artists can find inspiration in places most of us never notice. Artist Allison Fur Lawyer combs Memphis neighborhoods seeking objects which she can incorporate into her work. But while on these expeditions, Lawyer also finds inspiration in another place, everyday people. Well, Allison, thank you so much for letting us in your studio today and sharing your art with our viewers. We'd just kind of like you to walk us through how you, um, where you are today and how you became an artist. Um, well, I think genetically I was, I had no choice, so that's, I guess, where it began. I've been, I mean, ever since I can remember, I've been finger painting and I won my first art award when I was in second grade, so it's, <laughs> it's always been in my blood. I, I really kind of feel like I have no choice in it. Tell us about your educational background. Well, I, uh, I grew up in uh, Jackson, Mississippi, so I started out K through 12 at Jackson Academy, and um, and then I went to University of Mississippi in Oxford, and I also did a studies abroad program through UGA um, the fall of '94 in Cortona, Italy, Ooh, wow. and then I graduated, came back for one more semester at Ole Miss, and then graduated December of '95. So you had some influences across the world. <laughs> I, you know, I, I think so. If not, you know, physically and geographically, I have just mentally, I guess, just kind of been a little bit everywhere. I mean, a little bit of imagination goes a long way with me. Well, let's talk about what you're doing today. And how would you describe your work to our audience? Um, well, I'm not a, a critic. I'm definitely influenced and inspired by several things. My list is like this long. I mean, even just driving down the street and seeing an old lady with big hair mm -hmm. in a big car is really funny to me and it just grabs me and, and sometimes, you know, it's little things like that that just kind of trigger an inspiration. Mm -hmm. um, you know, different movies like old James Bond movies or old black exploitation movies, um, reruns of Family Feud and Let's Make a Deal. And, <laughs> you know, I've got like a suitcase full of like old magazine articles that I've torn out that just, that are really funny to me. And I think that, you know, that that's kind of what I would like to, for people to think about my work is that I'm not taking it too seriously. And I mean, each piece has its own story. I've got some pieces that are pretty serious that, you know, that, that show a different side of me, but for the most part, mm -hmm. you know, like shower caps and, you know, old skating rinks and bowling alleys, like the different cultures and of, of people that are diehard bowlers. I mean, that's just really <laughs> kind of funny to me, being from the South, not that that's funny, but, you know, driving through different small towns, it's like seeing people, you know, hanging out in their front yard, playing with their kids. Like that, that kind of inspires me too to maybe like, you know, paint children or, you know, I've done several paintings of kids and, and I really enjoyed it. It's kind of fulfilling. I think whatever just, you know, my, however I feel when I get in my studio, sometimes it'll, for the most part, it'll just evolve into something else, mm -hmm. like my ideas there, but then it'll turn into kind of something else, um, which is, exciting and great because I can't, you know, exactly control everything that my hand decides to do. <laughs> well, I noticed too that there is a lot of um, very um, noteworthy, you know, Memphis imagery and icon in your work, so it is fun to come in here and, and see some things that you're like, you know, I know, you know, skate land, you know, right. I, I did that when I was a child, you know. Well, the, the big skate, the big skate kind of caught my attention driving down Sam yeah. Cooper. I moved to Memphis four years ago, and when I saw that, I was like, holy cow, I gotta, I gotta get closer to that big <laughs> skate. What is going on with this place? Yeah. And then when I drove by it, it apparently had burned down. But I just, I know that some good times had happened in that <laughs> place, plus the big skate. I was a big skater growing up, and, um, and it just, I had to do something with it. So I kind of made that painting look like a tombstone, because it oh. kind of, that's why I, I cut it out. Very um, nice. Okay. I, I, I like uh, 
getting involved with like sawing pieces into the shape. Um, sometimes I'll, you know, saw a person's head and mm -hmm. the shape of the person's head and then paint on it. Or for example, I painted that. I wanted it to kind of look like an old trailer, so I cut it in the shape of a trailer. Okay. Um, and you know, a lot of these pieces I have found on the side of the road or like, you know, down an alley somewhere in a dumpster. I'll do uh, some dumpster diving. I mean, I'll spend hours in my car just and you're driving just around for old town, wood pieces, just or? looking for stuff to paint on. You know, doors, washer doors, camper doors, old basketball backboard, mm -hmm. um, anything that's like a surface or even really not even a smooth surface. I've painted on like car hoods that have been run over over and over and over again. <laughs> I think it's just a little boring to paint on canvases. I mean, I've stretched my own canvases and I've, I've enjoyed it, but what I really enjoy is the whole seeking and finding these pieces mm -hmm. to paint on. It's not just what I'm painting, you know, but it's it's what am I painting on and, and what kind of process did I go through to, you know, to get to the final product. What do you want your, the viewers to take away from your artwork? That's a loaded question, but I think that, I think more than anything, I, I want them to be able to just be like, gosh, what inspired this painting? Or she's always coming up with something new, or, you know, there's, every painting is so completely different from another one I guess just like you know hey this artist must have something up her sleeve she's got something to say mm -hmm. and I do and this is kind of really my only way of, of doing it. Probably one of the most important questions to ask you is where can our viewers see your work? Well um, I'm, sh I'm currently showing downtown on South Main at the Edge Gallery mm -hmm. and um, you got a website? I, I do. But it's allisonfurlawyer.com. Well, thank you again so much for letting us come into your studio today, and we wish you the best of luck. Thanks. It's been fun.